Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast. Big moo. Big moo. I see you because. Beast. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in the fall of 2022. The album. Cover Lover. <laughs> the launch. The concert. The tour with Gabby Hanna. Dad. Shimmy shimmy. <laughs> AF. <Yeah. clears throat> I love rock and roll. So put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love. I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid. I got in a fight. Uh huh. All right, how are you guys doing today? Happy Thursday. I have had such a great day today. Um, my cousin came and picked me up. My cousin Caroline, who I've done many videos with now at this point. Um, I have to tell you, I just, like literally an hour ago, got my results from my 23andMe. And if you have seen the, um, the documentary on Netflix called Our Father, which takes place in Indianapolis, which is where I live, I was a little worried, okay? I was a little worried because I thought I was gonna have 265 siblings and I was gonna be like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with all these families, uh, members that now want to uh, just feed off of my fame? of being a world-class famous YouTuber. But unfortunately, <laughs> the only close relative that I have is my cousin Caroline, and she is my cousin, and we are first cousins. We found out through 20, I mean, we already knew. Caroline goes, we look alike, we sound alike, we act alike. She, I was like, I know Caroline, but. So anyway, the 23 and Me, it confirmed that my cousin Caroline and I, that we are first cousins. And I have to tell you, I was so anticipating the results from this 23 and Me, and I was a little bit let down. <laughs> I wanted some mystery in my life. I wanted some mystery in my life. So, so because I didn't get the mystery that I wanted, we went to Crumble Cookies. And um, I didn't get to review the Crumble Cookies for the last two weeks. So today I went and I purchased all of the Crumble Cookies for this week. And I am going to be doing that review next. And that video will be up on my uh, Peter Review Stuff channel. And, and I also went to a pool that I used to go to, a city pool that I used to go to when I was a kid. And um, I can remember bouncing because it was so cold in the pool. And then I would go to the concession stand and I would get like nachos and like hot dogs and like Laffy Taffy and frozen Snicker bars and stuff like, oh my God, we had so much fun. Anyway, um, it has been closed down. So I went there and did a video of the abandoned pool um, for my Peter Does Stuff channel. So that will be over on my Peter Does Stuff channel today as well. It's actually rendering as we speak right now. But today on the drama channel, I have so much to talk about. I wanna talk about uh, Shane Dawson coming out with new merch. Um, and I was when I was looking at the new merch, it was kind of interesting to me. I was like, hmm. This is interesting because Shane put out um, kind of like this question on his community tab several weeks ago and didn't follow anything that the, the fans of Shane Dawson said. And I was very surprised by that. He just kind of pushed through and did exactly what he wanted to do. Um, so th that was the first thing I wanted to talk about. And then I wanted to talk about the fact that Jeffree Star put out this video on his Instagram story yesterday, on Instagram story, not really a video, talking about how Shane and Ryland and all these people were in Wyoming and that they were filming something. So this is apparently a confirmed project that Shane Dawson, Ryland, and Jeffree Star are doing together. I, I have to tell you, before we even get into this, and I show you the video because First of all, the video clip is very interesting to me. I'm going to show it to you. Um, I was just going to show the end part where Jeffrey talks about them coming out there and doing a video together. Um, but I'm going to show you the whole thing because I watched it twice. Because the first time that I watched it, I was kind of like, it's like, you know, when you're like, like the Scooby-Doo back in the day when like the, somebody would say something and like Scooby's ear would go, oh, uh, like that. I was like watching it and I was like, oh, uh, because at the beginning of this video, um, Jeffrey says something that almost kind of seems contradictory to me at the end of it. And I'm like, but it's so, it would be something that would be so stupid to lie about that I don't know. I, I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Okay. But anyway, we're going to get into that in just a second. So let's talk about the Shane Dawson merch, first of all. All right. 
So Shane Dawson has new merch up over on his um, merch shop. You can go to Shane Dawson Merch. And I am going to just show you a few of the things that he has up here right now. Um, he has, let me get my reading. Oh my God, my reading glasses. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I need to read the room. Why? Because reading is what? <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. Fundamental. Oh, by the way, I watched this documentary last night. Um, I am watching uh, on Apple TV, Five Days of Memorial, which is a fantastic show. It's, it's tragic, but it's fantastic. And it's about Hurricane Katrina and the aftermath. Um, but when I got caught up with that, I started watching, well, I finished watching this documentary. It's a two-part series about this football player that actually went to Notre Dame in Indiana. And then he played for the San Diego Chargers. I, I am going to horribly mispronounce his name, but I think it's um, Manti Teo. And that he got catfished. Have you guys seen this documentary? It's called Untold, The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist. Or The Girlfriend Who Wasn't Alive. Or something like that. It was so fantastically done and it's such a good message at the end about forgiveness and forgiving ourselves and forgiving others. It's a really, it's a really well done documentary and I was impressed and actually I didn't know this until I got done watching it but it's kind of like a series of documentaries. They go in and they, I think there's like six documentaries that they do and they're all kind of sports related. So, cause you know I love the sports. You know, you know, okay. Touchdown! You know I love the sports, right? So, um, <laughs> Listen, I don't know the difference between a touchdown and a free throw. Is that what you call it? I don't know. I just know that I used to do it like this when I was in gym class and in high school even. But anyway, um, so no. But I actually really, really enjoyed this. And it was a, it was a great documentary. It was really well put together. So if you enjoy those kind of docu documentaries, go check it out. And actually, somebody tagged me on Twitter and somebody else had talked about, like, this was a crazy documentary, and then somebody tagged me on it and was like, oh, they put my name, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go check this out. Um, and when people tell me to watch shows and they really like them, I write them, keep them on my list, and then I watch them. So, okay. So, let's read the room. Are you ready? Okay, so Shane Dawson put out this merch, and the first one that I'm gonna show you is Conspiracy Club Vintage Tea, $30, and it just says Conspiracy Club on it. The next one is Conspiracy Club Lavender Hoodie, $45. And then it, the next one is Enjoy This Black Hoodie, $45. And then Enjoy This Trucker Hat, $30. And those are the new things, okay? And then it goes right into his, um, the pig logo, tea and lilac. It's, now it's on sale. Cause you know, there's forever a sale. <laughs> it's like forever 21. There's forever a sale on the clearance rack of Shane Dawson's merch. So it was 25, it's 12.50. The pig ro uh, robe was 55, it's 27.50. The tumbler was 25, it's 12.50. Um, the mystery hoodie is still 18. The pig uh, handbag, if you're still trying to get a hold of that, was 65, it's now 32.50. So a lot of things are on sale over there if you're wanting to get that. If you're wanting to get the I Survived uh, t-shirts that he did in coordination with the Haunted um, the video that he did with Ryland and Morgan and everybody, that was $40, it's now 20. And uh, that was the long sleeve tee. The short sleeve tee was 25 and it's now 12.50. Okay, so let's go back up here for a second to the Conspiracy Club Vintage Tee, okay? Now, I have to tell you what is really surprising to me about this. And I was sitting here and I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, it's okay and whatever. But I was like, does that say Conspiracy Cub? <laughs> I, I couldn't really read it. And then I was like reminded of this uh, thing that he put up on his community tab over on, um, hold on a second, over on his Shane 2 channel, okay? So here, I'm gonna throw this up here for, I'll just show it to you right here. So he put over here different ideas and he put the Conspiracy Club, which is the merch that he actually, he came up with. And then he put the t-shirt at the top. Oh, whoa, what is that? Hold on a second. Where did it go? <laughs> Shane, oh God, how did I get out of this? Okay, Shane to, <laughs> oh my God, I had it all uh, up and ready. Okay, Shane to community tab. So he goes over and he asks, um, he, he throws up the t-shirt, here it is. He throws it up and then he throws the t-shirt up with the, the conspiracy thing. And then he says, new merch idea, yes or no. Now this was a month ago. Now I have to kind of believe that being that it was just a month ago that he came out with this, 
this asking his fans what they thought that that probably at that time he already had it in like development of being made right like so even if he was like okay i need to change it now there was probably already that they had been making them and whatever but what's interesting to me about this is that when you go underneath here and you read the comments okay and i'm not going into the newest comments i'm just going to go into like the top comments and things like that um People are asking, people are saying, I'd make club a little more defined, but other than that, absolutely love it and would wear it. Somebody said, and this is like the second and the third highest top comments. I could read the club initially, but now that I'm seeing all the other comments, I do get where they're coming from. I love horror movies just as much as Shane does, so incorporating that would be really cool. People are saying that you can't read the word club on here, okay? Um... And then somebody said, the L and U in club should be separated a little so it's easier to read. Otherwise, I think it's great. Somebody said, I read Conspiracy Kolb. Other than that, love the vintage band feel of it. Somebody said, love the design. The club just needs to be a lot, uh, a bit more legible, but it looks great. And there's 15 comments on this, okay? Somebody said, I thought it said crab, but then I reread it. Someone said, I had to come to the comments for this. I like the old school feel, though. Make it more legible and it's good to go. Got my vote. Somebody said, I agree. I agree. Agreed. Nice design though. So all of these people are saying that they really, really like the merch, right? And they like the design. They just can't read club. So what's interesting to me is Shane Dawson, who says he constantly cares about what his fans think. And he's selling this to his fans to enjoy. If you say you don't care just about the money, you'd think you'd want to make your fans happy. Literally, there are hundreds and hundreds of comments, okay? There's 700 and some comments on this thing. There are hundreds of comments on here just about the, the, how legible the word club is. So the fact that you wouldn't correct that for your fans that you're supposedly making this merch for because it's so uncomfortable for you to push merch and you just do merch for your fans because they're the ones that like it, you would think that he would want to make his fans happy. So I'm surprised by this. I really am. And the only thing that I can think in, in giving an excuse to Shane Dawson is that the t-shirts and the sweatshirts were already made. I, I have to just believe that and that he got really excited about it a month ago when like the final product came through for you know, to sign off on it. And so he was like, okay, I wanna show this, I wanna put this up, because he probably already liked it and signed off on it. And so he was like, I'm gonna show this to get people excited about it. And he did it, and he didn't expect that people were gonna say that about Club. You know what I mean? I think we've all gotten excited about things before. Maybe I'm giving him too much of you know leeway on this, I don't know. But I think we've all gotten excited before about stuff where we wanna throw stuff out there, and then it's like, okay, there's no fruition to that or whatever, you know? Um, so I don't know. Maybe Maybe he'll change it down the road and listen to what people have to say. Maybe not. It is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. It's merch. But I do think, you know, it's it's expensive merch. I mean, it's not like it's super, super cheap. I do think it's affordable uh, as far as, like, other uh, influencers' merch. I think his has a fair price point. I really do. I mean, $45 for a hoodie. I mean, there's some influencers out there that don't have the following that Shane has that their hoodies are $60 and $70. So I do think it's a fair price point. Um, but I just, I'm surprised that he didn't listen to his, his audience or his fans, the ones that have, that have hung around and are going to be the ones that are buying this stuff, you know? So that was that with the merch. Now let's get into the whole Jeffree Star thing. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't really know what is going on. Like I am so confused right now and you know, it's like, Okay, I have done now two videos about Nathan Schwant, okay? And the, the excuses that people make for this man is, like, unbelievable to me. Like, people are like, oh, well, you know, maybe this, or maybe that, or maybe this, or maybe that, or whatever, you know? And I'm just like, okay. Or, you know, it's like, what, what's the saying? I got the glasses on, I could, but I'm not great at math anyway, but what's the saying that, like, the distance, the, the shortest distance between two lines is the easiest one, or something like that? Like, what makes the most sense is probably the one that's true, right? Like, we don't need to concoct this huge fantasy world of what's going on, you know? Know, about all this kind of stuff. Do I think that Nathan Schwan has been a little shady in some of his responses about Jeffree Star? Yeah, I do, honestly. Um, do I think that Jeffree Star is being quiet about it? Yeah, I do. And and I think that Jeffree Star is trying not to stir stuff up. And I don't know why. I, I don't. Is it because Nathan has stuff on Jeffree? Is it because, you know, he, he is just uh, trying to be good to this person that he used to love? I don't know. But now what's interesting about this is, 
that Nathan is, um, he has just started this well, he, he's had a Twitter for a long time, but he was never really that active on his Twitter. And now he's being active on his Twitter. And he has since then, hold on a second, let me see if I can pull it up. Here it is. Since then, he has linked a, uh, oh no, that's, hold on a second. Um, since then, he has linked an OnlyFans to his Twitter. Hold on a second. I should, it, it's hard when you have to have like, four social media accounts pulled up this okay Nathan Schwant here it is so he now he has oh he's actually okay here it is come join me tonight my birthday is at midnight and he's saying that about um coming to his twitch he has now supposedly started in OnlyFans the other day he linked an OnlyFans on his Twitter um and it was the incorrect OnlyFans but He's being really so he's being really active on social media. And so I'm getting like a lot of DMs from people. It's not just me that's saying this, okay? I'm getting a lot of DMs from people and they're like, Nathan's being a lot more active on his social media than he used to be. What's going on? Why is he doing this? Is he coming out with stuff? And you know, you know, he said something the other day when I did the thing when people asked about his hoodies and his collection. Um, and he said that he was going to come out with more. So I don't know. It's interesting, though. I'm wondering if Nathan is going to get to a point where he does say more about what happened. I mean, let's just be for real. Other than his association with Jeffree Star, really, who is Nathan Schwant? I mean, he is just, he's been the boyfriend of Jeffree Star. And so... Other than that, like, there's no claim to fame. Now, I do know that there are a lot of people that like him and think he's a really nice guy. And I thought he was a really nice guy in the videos, too, and stuff like that. You know, I thought what was interesting was I got a lot of comments from people that they were talking about, like, the house tour video. And they said, if you actually go back and you watch the video, that Nathan seemed very checked out in that video. And that speculating that they were already broken up at that point, And that even when, like, Shane Dawson comes in, it's like when they greet each other, that it is, like, not the same as before. And that there was just something different about Nathan at that point. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I do know that Nathan um, is starting to be more active, which I think is interesting. Okay? Now... I also know that Jeffree Star is being more active and being more on social media and talking about things and whatever. And um, he put this Instagram story up and apparently Shane Dawson and Ryland flew out to Wyoming to film something. Now I'm going to show you the video clip and I'm going to show you the whole thing, okay? Now the two things I want you to look for, and I know the first thing that I tell you, you guys are going to be like, well that is so stupid, why do you care, okay? Because I think for Jeffree Star, it's just almost kind of second nature for him to lie at times. And he always goes, I don't lie. What we're not going to do in 2022 is make Jeffree Star the drama of being a liar, okay? But I have watched him for six years consistently now, and the man lies never corrects it and it just goes about his business right so the first thing I want you to watch for is I'm gonna show you the whole thing I'm just gonna clip out the parts where he shows like makeup and there's music playing in the background but the first part is that he says that they drove Maddie to the airport and she flew out at 5 a.m. okay then on the very same day okay that he posts this Instagram story like 15 hours later on the very same day he says that Shane and Ryland and Maddie and all of them are flying out tomorrow. And I'm like, well, I thought Maddie already flew out at 5 a.m. You flew her out or took her to the airport. And I know because people are like, no, he didn't say that she flew out. He said he took her to the airport. Well, what did he take her to the airport for at 5 a.m.? Just to stand in the airport, get Cinnabons? I don't know, okay? But, like, why is the girl going to the airport at 5 a.m.? If she's not flying out. And people are like, well, maybe, you know, to get Shane and Rylan. Well, why wouldn't he go pick up Shane and Rylan if he's already taking Maddie to the airport at 5 8? None of it makes sense to me, okay? Th then at the end, he says that Shane and Rylan came out and that they have filmed a bunch and that they have some video. This is surprising to me. I will tell you, okay? Well, here, I'm going to show it to you first. Here you go. Good morning, everyone. We took Maddie to the airport at 5 a.m., I fed the dogs, I went back to sleep. I never go back to sleep, but baby, <sighs> she's feeling exhausted. I still have uh, a lot more TikToks and transformations to do. I'm probably gonna be wearing three wigs today. Um, I also have some friends in town filming. Um, <laughs> so much is going on here at the ranch. Besides working the yaks on all the businesses, um, but being busy and chaotic is where I thrive, so <sighs> let 
Let me get on to it. Oh, hey, y'all. I just posted a new TikTok transformation. Go check it out. Oh, hi, guys. It has been a crazy last few days. Shane and Ryland and Chris and Boom and Jay and Maddie, they all will be leaving Wyoming in the morning. Um, I need a nap, bitch. So there you go, confirmed. Jeffree Star, Shane, and Ryland are doing some video project together. Now, I have to tell you what is really surprising to me about this, okay? I think people could be critical of the fact, I mean, let's just be for real. Jeffree Star has a huge part in the beginning of the downfall of Shane Dawson, okay? And getting Shane involved in all this drama and the Tati and the James and all this kind of stuff. Also, Hair by Jay, who was Jeffree Star's hair person and who is still somebody that he interacts with, even though he said, you know, like, good morning to the, everybody except for the person that does my hair. And then two weeks later, Hair by Jay was doing his hair again. I never really has addressed that, okay? And all of those horrendous comments that he made to Trisha Paytas. And, and I think, like, it's... In having a conversation like this, it's hard because people are like, oh, but Trisha Paytas is a horrible person, okay? It's like we can't have two people do horrible things at the same time without talking about it in a realistic way, right? I'm not saying that Trisha Paytas hasn't put out horrible things. I think I've made enough videos about it to, to know that that's true, right? But at that time, those things that were said b about Trisha by Hair by Jay were horrendous. They're horrible. They were things that nobody should be saying to another human being. And Jeffree Star kind of co-signed this by no never saying anything and then by you know aligning himself with hair by jay again and we know that shane dawson was just like can't we just forget this and go on and that's why he and trisha are no longer friends okay do do we know that maybe he was like okay I'm, I'm tired of this friendship with trisha no we don't do we know that there was maybe like a long history of him having to deal with stuff with trisha no we don't you know maybe she was an overwhelming friend i'm sure we have no idea what that was about right we have no idea shane's part in that but we do know that this whole situation was what led to the separation between Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas. Okay. So a lot of people made videos. A lot of people were talking about it at that time and saying like, I can't believe that Shane's not standing by his friend. He's not standing by Trisha and whatever. And people were speculating that the reason why he was st standing by Jeffree Star was A, because of the conspiracy palette and B, because of the merch. Because Jeffree Star does um, Shane's merch, which is probably true. Now he's got new merch coming out. But what I don't understand, and this is where people are like, you know, Shane Dawson is such a genius, and Shane Dawson just thinks these things through, whatever, right? Like, Shane Dawson could stay friendly with Jeffree Star and be civil to him. He could even fly out to the ranch and hang out with him for a day or two. But to do further projects with him, when he has just started to clear his name through this podcast and Ryland's vlogs and other things like that, you know, like, I just really don't understand it. I really don't. I think it is such a poor move. I don't think he's really thought this through at all. And this is where I'm kind of like, this is where that arrogance and ego and pride get in your way. And you're like, I don't care what people think anymore. I don't care about this anymore. I'm going to do what I want to do and blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Well, previous to Jeffree Star or previous to Shane Dawson and after Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star has proven that he is not necessarily a great person. All right. So when you're trying to like come up on the world and show the world that you have changed and become a better person, I'm not sure that this is maybe the person that you want to align yourself with. That's your choice. You do what you want. But I think what this is going to happen is if they put another video out together, I think a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, what's going on here? And people are saying if this is a video because Jeffrey's talking about his new launch of his new makeup and whatever, and that he's doing this photo shoot, you know, if this has anything to do with makeup, people are going to laugh at Shane Dawson. I mean, they are going to laugh at him like he is the biggest joke. They're going to be like, seriously, like you started a channel called Shane Glosson. You did this whole thing about makeup, which now people are calling a QVC, you know, ad for this, uh, pushing this makeup. And you never had anything really to do with it. But now now you're going to make another video about makeup. So I don't believe that's what it's going to be. I do believe it's going to be like a day in the life on the ranch or something like that. I think it'll be like Rylan and Shane hanging out on the ranch, looking at the, um, <laughs> I could, I was like elk, use camels. What does he have up there? <laughs> I couldn't remember. So anyway, I, I think that's what it's going to be like. You know, I think it's going to be him. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, yakety 
yeah, yeah, I can do talk back. I think that's what it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be like Shane and Rylan. And there was like footage of them like on this plane. <laughs> it looked like they were hanging out like it looked like they were sitting like on the picture. I I don't have the picture, but it looked like they were sitting down by like the the drink cart thing. <laughs> Apparently it was a private jet. I don't know what kind of private jet it was, but anyway. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to be like a day in the life of the ranch or whatever. And I think Shane thinks, well, that's a pretty safe video. And it probably is a pretty safe video. You know, they did the video where like Jeffrey called him and it was about their makeup being at Nordstrom and all of that kind of stuff and you know and then like they had to act like it was this big deal with like whatever with Morphe and all that kind of stuff so and they acted like oh they didn't care and it was whatever well then why'd you ever make a video you know about it explaining it away if you really don't care you wouldn't address it I mean Jeffrey Star doesn't address a lot of things most things he doesn't address right so um I think that this is one to show that they're still friends and I think that this is two to kind of show that um you know like Jeffrey Star is changed his life and he's a new person and all this kind of stuff but we'll see what video comes out it'll be interesting I don't think it's going to be some huge video project you know of the, the Jeffrey and Shane back together again and all this kind of stuff I, I actually was when I was reading like um people talking about it online it was interesting because it was like 50% of people were like, I so miss Jeffrey and Shane. I would love to see them together again. And the other 50% were like, this is the biggest mistake and train wreck I have ever seen. Like if Shane gets in a... And it was interesting because it wasn't people saying, if Jeffrey gets in a video with Shane, that's a bad look for Jeffrey. And if you think about this, okay, what's interesting about this, when you really want to talk about who has the worst reputation, it wasn't people saying Jeffrey shouldn't do this when Jeffrey really wasn't the one that was supposedly canceled, okay? It was people saying Shane shouldn't do this with Jeffrey, which is interesting that people are so protective. And, and like I even said it, you know, I don't think this is a great move for Shane if he's trying to show that he's improved, you know? Um... So maybe that's an interesting way to look at it, you know? And is there anything that Jeffree Star can ever do to redeem himself, you know, on um, whatever? I mean, people have been sending me stuff lately where he's kind of been lipping off a little bit of here and there, and there was something on TikTok, and then he deleted it, and, you know, and I don't know about all that, but... Um, I mean, I have it because somebody sent it to me. But, you know, it's like, okay, are you going to go back to that again? Or is this because you have a new release, a new launch coming out, you know, and all this kind of stuff? And I don't know. It's just like, um, so I guess we're going to see, right? And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you'll watch a Jeffree Star Shane Dawson video, if you're kind of burnt out on it, if you don't care. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all of this. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.